Okay, so these would be some of the plecos from my first first batch that I ever had. Um, now they're all moving out of the way. You see there are two, two and a half inches or so. These are some of the albino ones. Um, over here, oh, there's one of them swimming in the middle there. Another one here. This tank's really cloudy right now. <laughs> Another one down in here. These are from the same batch. They're, they said, about two inches long. Um, there's a couple of them over here. From the same one. I just fed everything. So, with all the food sitting there. I'm going to be cleaning, changing water, cleaning these tanks here. So, these ones are an uh, inch, inch and a quarter, maybe, for the most part. There's a couple of them in there that are bigger. That one's almost two. Uh, there's one real big one in here. That was actually from the first patch that I had. But, um,. Let me jump down here to the other tanks and I'll show you the second and uh, the last one that I just had. So, give me a minute. Alright, so this would have been uh, well, the second spawn of them that I had. They're all over in here. It's glass bottom, sorry the dirty and you'll see the reflection of my goldfish in here. Had a really bad uh, duckweed problem. So I put a couple goldfish in here and they cleared it all up. But So these are all the babies that I got. Uh, this is a 20 long that they're in right now. This is over on my end tanks where my Pleco station is. <laughs> Pleco breeding area. But yeah, these ones are uh, about an inch, give or take. And then uh, we move over to the latest spawn that I had. These ones here are uh, half inch or so. You can see them on the back wall there and guppies swimming around in here, sorry but they help clean things up too. Some back there, but most of them are sitting over here. You see daddy hanging out underneath the filter there. He's probably not gonna turn around for us, but. But yeah, there's a bunch of the little ones there. Swimming around. Sitting these ones there, yeah, mm, about a half inch. So they've been in here uh, probably going on about a month. I've been feeding him up and then I've been feeding mama over in this tank. There she goes into there right now. But So this weekend, I'm uh, my plan is I'm going to, it's Friday right now, but uh, I'm going to swap him over, take him in the cave out, move him over here and uh, let them have another swing at it. And we can get a few more babies out of them here. I did, I'm starting to, a uh, couple of the plecos I got upstairs, the albino ones I put up there, Getting big enough, starting to show the males and the females now, starting to show the bristles on the males. So uh, fortunately, I think I'm going to have a couple nice males and a couple nice female albino ones. I might start trying to get a couple of them isolated and grow them up a little bit quicker and see if I can start to get some of them to breed, see if I can get a higher percentage of the albino. Um, right now I'm probably getting 10, maybe 20% is coming out albino the rest of the brown which are still beautiful fish I mean you see some of the spots and stuff on some of them probably not gonna no not gonna work real well but oh well I'll get you some better pictures at some point but so that's just a quick pleco update thank you